This might be the most shocking feature in all of Antarctica. The rings of the structure look like the walls of some sort of compound, like something that's been designed. Around 90 million years ago, Antarctica was home to a sprawling tropical rainforest teeming with exotic flora and fauna. However, everything changed when the Ice Age hit, and it became the tundra we know today, with a land mass of 13.7 million square kilometres, the majority of which is totally covered in ice and snow all year. There are many secrets lurking beneath the surface. Melting ice and human touch have revealed amazing features in this mysterious region of our planet, ranging from peculiar microorganisms unknown to the rest of the world to odd glaciers that sing. All kinds of unnerving things have been discovered in Antarctica, and today we'll bring you some of the most terrifying and formidable things mankind has uncovered in the Antarctic ice. So make sure you stick around till the end. Number 1. Allen Hills 84001 Allen Hills 84001 is the name given to a chunk of a Martian meteorite discovered in the Antarctica mountain of Allen Hills. On December 27, 1984, a team of American meteorite hunters from the ANSMET project discovered this meteorite. This 1.93 kilogram meteorite originated from Mars and belonged to the Shergotite narclite shazignite group. Since the colour of the terrain in Antarctica makes it simple to notice items that seem to not belong here, meteor hunters find it to be an ideal area to search for rocks that have fallen from outer space. The ANSMET crew visits Antarctica every year and they've discovered some amazing rocks so far. One of these rocks is Allen Hills 84001. ALH 84001 was discovered on the Allen Hills far western ice field by Roberta Score, a lab manager at the Johnson Space Center's Antarctic Meteorite Laboratory. Despite the fact that specialists believe it to be one of the oldest meteors to have originated from Mars, they estimate that it crystallized from molten Martian rock approximately 4.09 billion years ago. The chemical examination of this rock shows that liquid water was present on Mars' surface at the time of its formation. An investigation of the origin of ALH 84001 was shared in September 2005 using data from the Mars Global Surveyor and the 2001 Mars Odyssey probe. The meteorite appears to have come from Eos Chasma in the Vallis Marineris Canyon, according to the analysis. Scientists estimate that this boulder was blown away from Mars' surface by the impact of a meteor that struck roughly 17 million years ago. Radiometric dating studies revealed that ALH 84001 arrived on Earth around 13,000 years ago. This meteorite has received more attention than any other with probable biological science because it is the only one from wet Mars. In 1996, a group of experts claimed to have discovered evidence in this meteorite indicating that it contained remains of Martian microorganisms. This disclosure of possible extraterrestrial life sparked a heated debate with many assuming that it was actual evidence. However, the majority of the scientific community quickly rejected this contentious theory. There may or may not have been Martian life in this meteorite, but it set the precedent for many future breakthroughs in the developing field of astrobiology. And just because this meteorite didn't contain fossilized Martian bacteria doesn't mean there aren't more out there hiding the alien microorganisms in their core. Number 2. Weddell Polynya This strange hole the size of Ireland was discovered near the Antarctic ice in 1974. The hole, known as Weddell Polynya, was closed two years later in 1976. To the surprise of experts all throughout the world, this hole reopened after being closed for 40 years. The peculiar behaviour of this hole in the Antarctic has perplexed scientists who are still unable to explain this strange phenomenon. According to Kent Moore, a physicist at the University of Toronto, this extraordinary hole is hundreds of kilometres from the ice edge and it would have gone undetected if not for satellite images. It appears as if someone punched a hole in the ice. After being closed for four decades, the hole momentarily reopened in 2016 and then disappeared. At its peak, the Weddell Polynya covers around 31,000 square miles, making it twice the size of the Netherlands. Scientists are unsure what causes this odd hole to open and close, but they hope to use it to learn more about climate change. 
According to researchers, these polynyas have the potential to alter the climate and more of them will arise as a result of global warming. The prevalence of these holes is as frightening as it is exciting. Just imagine how gigantic holes erupting across the surface of an entire continent will influence the equilibrium of our natural system, let alone enormous holes shutting and opening at will. Number 3. Blood Falls This gushing cascade spilling from Antarctica's Taylor Glacier into the McMurdo Dry Valley may be the most exciting discovery made in this part of the world. Griffith Taylor, an Australian geologist, who was also the first to investigate this valley, discovered it in 1911. The ice encircling the Taylor Glacier has been discoloured by the rich crimson liquid issuing from its mouth. The blood-like colour of this waterfall was initially attributed to red algae, but scientists eventually discovered that something else was behind this terrifying outpouring of blood in the middle of nowhere. Researchers recently stated that they have discovered the true cause of the red colour of this waterfall. They used it for echolocation, which allowed them to see the features beneath the glacier. This aided them in locating the cause of the Red River's supersaturation. It turns out that ice takes 1.5 million years to move through the glacier and emerge intermittently from tiny breaches in the ice. So where did this water come from? Under the rock is a brine lake full of iron-rich hypersaline water. The size of this subglacial pool is unknown, although it is surrounded by 400 metres of ice on top. Under high pressure, the water is pushed out of the lake and comes into touch with oxygen near the surface. The iron in this water is oxidised by the iron in the atmosphere and turns red. This magnificent waterfall drop enables researchers to examine the underlying microbial life of the region without having to drill deep into the Arctic ice sheet. According to the researchers, this pool was shut off 1.5 to 2 million years ago and can be thought of as a time capsule. It isolated the old native microbial population for a long time, allowing these species to evolve on their own. This explains how these bacteria were able to thrive in such harsh conditions when the earth was entirely frozen. It's reasonable to imagine that numerous lakes like this one exist beneath Antarctica's icy surface and are home to microbes we don't understand. Number 4. A world hidden 1600 feet below the ice sheet Deep beneath Antarctica's frozen sheet sits an incredible ecosystem that has gone unnoticed for far too long. The notion of life flourishing 1,600 feet beneath the ice is incomprehensible, but Antarctica, like many other places, has left us all in amazement. Researchers recently discovered this hidden world tucked away in a dark, craggy hole. The subterranean environment, which is home to swarms of tiny shrimp-like organisms, is located underneath the Larsen Ice Shelf, a massive sheet of floating ice connected to the Antarctic Peninsula's eastern shore. An intriguing groove was found near the intersection of this enormous ice shelf and land. Researchers discovered this groove in satellite pictures and discovered it to be a subsurface river. They excavated roughly 500 feet below the surface of the ice, eventually reaching the chamber hidden beneath the ground with the help of a powerful hot water hose. A camera was sent down the tunnel to examine what was within, but hundreds of small fuzzy particles in the water made it impossible to view the surroundings clearly. The team initially feared their equipment was broken, but they soon determined it wasn't the hardware, but nature. Amphipods, which are extremely little crustaceans, swarmed the lens of their camera. The researchers had not anticipated this, even in their wildest dreams. They had not considered the idea of discovering life this far below the surface. The presence of these animals swimming around 1600 feet below the surface clearly indicates that a remarkable ecosystem process is underway, according to a physical oceanographer at the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research in Auckland, and the entire team was overjoyed by this breakthrough. Experts have speculated the presence of a vast network of rivers, estuaries and lakes beneath Antarctica, but analysing the continent's features is a difficult task. The researchers noted that the cavern did not resemble their predictions, the roof of the chamber was uneven, with several high undulations. They also discovered that the subsurface water column was divided into five unique layers, with water flowing in various directions in each layer. Fortunately, the team arrived near the submerged river just a few days before the Hunga Tonga Hung Haapai volcano erupted. The pressure waves from the explosion flowing through the underground cavern were recorded by the sensors they had put on the ice surface here. 
It's mind-boggling that a volcano explosion thousands of kilometers away damaged an underground chamber buried 1,600 feet beneath the ice in Antarctica. This suggests that practically everything on Earth is linked in some way. Number 5. The Singing Glacier Imagine the researchers' amazement when they went to witness the ice shift in Antarctica and instead discovered it singing. The vast Antarctic ice shelf, known as the Ross Ice Shelf, is alive with the sound of music. Researchers have recently begun examining seismic data from 34 highly sensitive sensors installed beneath the glacier's white surface. From 2014 to 2017, these scientists utilized these sensors to track the motion and vibrations of this ice shelf. But when they reviewed the data, they discovered that the top layer of snow was constantly shaking. A seismic hum was being produced by the vigorous winds thrashing across the uneven surface. The ice was humming at a frequency of 5 hertz, but the researchers discovered that the characteristics of this song were varied by occurrences such as storms or melting that affected the surface snow. Julian Chaput, a geophysicist and mathematician at Colorado State University who led the investigation, described the sound to a constantly blowing flute. They also noticed that storms and warming events that changed the morphology of snow dunes caused tiny changes in the tone of this song. Scientists believe that monitoring the Ross Ice Shelf song will allow them to remotely track surface movements ahead of time. The scientists will be able to use this to construct a more accurate picture of the ice shelf stability. They will be able to determine if the shelf is fragile and when it might collapse. Although this song is not audible to human ears, it is an excellent instrument for monitoring the environment and its impact on the ice shelf. It's incredible how the world's largest piece of ice can communicate with us. Is it possible that we will soon discover a glacier singing melodies that humans can also hear? In this freezing mystical world, everything is possible. What do you think about these discoveries in Antarctica? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.